from Fox and Frolix and I want to introduce you to our next project, this super cute bolero jacket right here. In this little video clip I'm going to show you how to put in the sleeve differently. I had a comment, somebody said, can you please please show us how you would do it if you didn't use binding or overlocking and you got a really clean result. So that's what I've done here. It means you have to put the sleeves in separately and that's what we're going to look at now. I've also decided that I would show you how to create this nice little overlap over the ruffles so it looks like almost like she's wearing like a little blouse underneath it that comes over the top here peeks out there and peeks out at the bottom so this is a really nice option as well let's get started so let me show you how this is done you can clearly see the lining is shorter than the upper material the first thing is the same as ever we're going to close the sleeve now here I'm going to show you how to achieve this little trick and what it is is you've got the three quarter length with a ruffle that's what we're using but we're wanting it to overlap a bit so basically think about it like this we're going down two centimeters that is the overlap that you can see from the outside so that's to there right and then it needs to come back up when it's folded up and it needs to go one centimeter further so we have a seam allowance so that would add three so you need to go another three centimeters down to here I'm gonna draw across here I'm going to cut it off here so now I'm going to fold it on that first line here, like that, fold it over and when I'm going to put my ruffle underneath it and this ruffle is going to be attached here, right? So this is how it's going to sit and then this is all ruffled but the stitching line will go through here making this here appear as if it's come from underneath the sewers if she's wearing a blouse or something and that's a really neat trick you can use that with all of your patterns that you've got you don't need this particular pattern for it but you need to make sure that the width here is the same in my case it kind of like flattens out at that point anyway because I'm always anticipating doing something like that so this is straight already if you're using just the video to make a different jacket or use this particular technique on a different jacket make sure that it's actually straight this here and that we have the same distance so sew all of these seams down make sure you have a pair once you touched your ruffle for that you want to use the video with a ruffle sleeve instead of just leaving it like that you are actually now going to where your mark was and you're turning this whole lot in so i'm just gonna this to the inside so we can give this a jolly good press all the way around so we're getting a very nice line so I'm gonna have a little sneak peek in here make sure that it's all even Steven all the way around and I'm gonna pop it onto my sleeve ironing board I'm gonna give it a jolly good press really good press it's a very very sweet way of doing this actually it looks really nice now we've done this we know where that line is we're going to bring out the ruffle now but we're not pulling it down we're leaving that crease right where it is we just want the little ruffle it's just stay in there where it was and I'm now going to pin this so I can't go anywhere all the way around As you can see the effect this has it looks like it's actually inside the sleeve right so she's wearing a blouse underneath it and it just kicks out the hem that's so nice 
Right, now it's just the right amount and it looks like this little floaty little sleeve that just tucks out from underneath. I think that's very cute. So that's another way of doing this and what we now want to do is just stitch um, in here parallel to the edge. It's going to be awfully hard to see where you have to stitch from the inside in a minute. So the easiest way to do this is to just mark yourself the 2.5 on your fabric all the way along like that my fabric here is really stiff I think if that was a more floaty fabric like a little chiffon that would be awesome if you use chiffon now then you need more gathers almost double the width of your ruffle I think if you're using chiffon I think that would be really nice so much learning to be done. You never stop learning with sewing. I love experimenting as well. If you're a little bit like me, you're going to love all these little methods. So now I've marked it. You turn that sleeve because there's no way you can get this on your sewing machine arm, I don't think. Adult pieces you could, little kiddo ones you can't. And now I'm going to just go in here and follow my line and stitch once all the way around with stitch length three. To sew this you probably will have to sew it from the inside so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I've turned so I've turned my sleeve so I can work from the inside and I'm starting on that seam and I'm going to go all the way around. So you can see here I was able to keep the distance I don't think this will be even even for me if I hadn't drawn it on there because you really can't see what you're doing on your sewing machine unless you do it like that or you have a special foot for the distance I'm going to pop it onto my favorite little um, my favorite little ironing board my sleep ironing board and I'm just going to give this a little bit of a steam all the way along and then I can put that sleeve in I will now put this into the jacket already I'm not waiting to the end this time make sure I've got the front snip front snip needs to face the front basically so I'm going to now put this sleeve in now with my sleeves in to the outer layer and you know checked they tip nicely forward I mean that is a really lovely sleeve took a while to design that all my testers that are watching this thank you for sticking with me on that it took me quite a while but they are beautiful sleeves now I'm going to put the lining sleeve in and the thing is here it's quite important to remember that let me just show you this pull this out a bit that the front here I've seen lots of people do this wrong right so they're kind of taking the same side sleeve they've put in there and they try to put it into the armhole it needs to be the opposite because of course it's on the inside and kind of mirror image so do the same again make sure that the front snip faces the front when you put it in and all you have to do is go in here as you would for the other sleeve so that like one is loose on the one side and then you put this sleeve in in exactly the same way you did the other so the sleeves both sit loosely inside so you do what you always do you find your top snip here you put that onto the shoulder then you have the underarm snip and you put these sleeves in as well now I've put both sleeves in so the outer sleeve and the inner sleeve which you can see here goes right into that sleeve so this is a lot cleaner of course from this side so now what we want to do is turn the sleeve inside out so it's right there let's uh, give you two guesses is what we're going to do now we're going to just tuck this in ever so slightly and we're going to pin it to the gather we've got and then we're going to hand stitch this and we're going to do this all the way around and only tuck in a little bit there is no harm done if the lining is a little bit longer because then there will be no tagging or pulling so get yourself a needle thread up and then slip stitch it all the way around when it's all slip stitched really nicely all the way around I think it looks so nice I love this we can turn the sleeve back to the outside one of the things that happens when you work both sleeves separately of course is that they are loose in here 
that's not what you want for a really nice fitted jacket. You also want the seam allowances to push into the sleeve. You never want the seam allowance to sit the other way because let me just show you this. I think I've done it before, but just in case you don't know what the difference is, that's what it looks like when it goes to the inside and that's what it looks like when the seam sits into the sleeve. So it's very important to keep it in that position and now is the perfect time to do this. So I'm just going to make sure that all my seam here is sitting right. If you have a tailor dummy, you can put it over your little dummy where you do all the stuff for your kids. Yeah, make sure it's nice and flat. Put a pin in here. And I go in here, just like that. And I'm going to attach these together. And wherever this ended up being, that's where I attach it, where my pin is. I don't actually say, oh, but it needs to be top on top. No, you want it exactly where it lands. And then all you do is do a few stitches so this can't go anywhere. I'm just going to do that here. It's a very small but quite important step if you are working your sleeves like that. See, that's it. In case you want to attach it in another area as well, all you have to do is make it straight here. Maybe put another pin in, open it back out where your pin is, pick it out like that, take your needle, and just a few stitches connecting both the seam allowances to each other then they can't turn anymore. So that's, that's it. So this is how you would put the sleeve in if you didn't want it either bound or overlocked. And everything that you do has merit. I think there are so many ways in which you can sew up a jacket. This is just one more way of doing it and you get a very clean edge in here. It's also looser. I personally think the other method is totally fine for a little jacket like that, but there you go. Somebody asked, so I thought, let's add this to it. And now you know how it's done. Now, if you want to buy just the pattern and you don't need any video support for it, then you can just go to froxandfrolics.com and purchase the pattern. If you want the whole course, then you can log in to the Academy. If you're not a member yet, then please sign up. It's completely free. Lots of free videos on there. The link is in the video description for all of that or under the info button in the top right hand corner here so that you can easily access it. So join us at theacademy.froxandfolics.com and learn how to sew like a pro and I'll see you there. Bye for now.